and always a reminder for myself that Ya Rab, and I'll look at Ajeezu Da'eef, O Miskeen, O Zalim, O Jahal, but for the grace of Allah that we are still alive. Haj Shahid, Surat Al Isra, uh, verse 79 and verse 80, inshaAllah. On this uh, holy weekend of Israhi wal Miraj, always a reminder that alhamdulillah the Laylatul Miraj that alhamdulillah we've, we've all been taught the greatness of the physicality of Sayyidina Muhammad be called into the Divinely Presence from Mecca towards Jerusalem meeting with all the Prophets salam, and that they accept the Risalat and Sultanat of Sayyidina Muhammad and made salah and prayed with Prophet and make that tahiyat as salaamu alaykum ayyuha nabi wa ashadu an la ilallah wa ashadu Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and at that time becomes the completion in the deen of deen Allah Islam. That they're all under the risalat and prophethood of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the reason for the Jerusalem to complete their faith. They promised Allah that when I make you to be a Rasul or a Messenger or a Nabi that you're under the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad if he should come in your time you accept your surrender. And that's what we talked about the levels of zakah that Allah the highest zakah is to give back what Allah gave to us. For us He gave our will, give it back. Surrendered back to Allah Allah is not interested in the two and a half percent. That was the gateway to the pulling of the teeth <laughs> that become the hard part. If you go through the gate Allah really wants is the will back, give your will back and surrender your, your desires and your wants and your needs to what I want. My kingdom comes, my will will be done because I'm going to put my kingdom within your heart. And all the Prophets of Allah and Messenger same, surrender your risalat, surrender your authority and come to the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why then all the stories of their, their humility and the tests within their humility. And this is the, the greatest that we can offer Allah to reach to those realities. So means then from Jerusalem then the ladder of Jacob's ladder into the heavens in which Allah want to give His chosen servant the honour of being called, dressed, blessed and given a ride on a, on a buraq all the way into the heavens to be washed and dressed and adorning all the heavens and making all the angels of that paradise to come out to greet. One showing ihtiram and tashrif that you come out to greet Sayyidina Muhammad and I'm going to beautify and fill all of its lights and all of its beauties because Allah is showing how much He loves and gives a respect to Sayyidina Muhammad And then people even doubt like, oh why you have to have a fancy mawlid? Are you, are you kidding me? You didn't see what Allah did? Allah the Creator Almighty is preparing all the heavens, all its paradises for a visit from Sayyidina Muhammad This Allah is showing, this is ihtiram, this is respect. If the Creator Almighty is showing that, nothing we do will be in comparison to that reality. So it means then going up for the miraj, seeing all the paradises being introduced as the chosen one of Allah in His zuhur, in His form. Because they already know the Sultanat of his nur, so it couldn't be the nur because I was a Rasulullah, I was a Rasul before Adam was between and clay and, and water. Means the people of Malakut they know who I am, they're taking all their authority from me. But Allah is showing the honour of my form to come into the Divinely Presence, in a presence that the form cannot come making the impossible, the form to go into the presence where no form can exist. That Allah want to show the azimah, the greatness, that which would have been annihilated, I'm going to bring just to show the owner of 
the soul and the form of this creation is beloved and dear to me. So that we understood this is for Allah Now anybody think that they're waiting to do the same, uh, come to the way of humility. That's why then you, you deserve to be in tariqah. If you think like that, seek out a tariqah wherever you can find it. Because tariqah comes and tells you, what do you think like that? Yeah, we're not of that. Allah sent us His greatest rahmah. And if Allah womb to even give us the gift of that rahmah, this is not going to be given, it's not given as a, as a free for everyone. If I grant you hidayat and guidance, I will grant you the guidance of going to the threshold of my most beloved creation Sayyidina Muhammad Only Allah come into our life and begin to teach the miraj for us is to the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad That is everything, that is the greatest accomplishment if we can reach to the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad and with love and muhabbat you enter with your soul into the soul of Prophet That's why the Kaaba is the symbol of that reality and that's why the Kaaba has a door. Why would it need a door? To show the hujaj, you're making tawaf but you didn't reach yet. There's a sign, if, if I run around your home and then I leave, is this a big accomplishment? Just ran around, ran around, ran around, bye. It was supposed to be a sign. Those whom have tafakkur and contemplation should have been looking, there's a door. And I'm merely making tawaf, ah, Ya Rabbi let me come to the door. There's a secret in here, I want my soul to be knocking. And this beautific door has two panels and two hearts, so two big realities of Siddiqs. And if Allah should open the reality of those doors to open, you're now entering into the presence of the King of all created universes. And that is the miraj and that was the symbol that Allah wanted and all of the hajj was tabarak. To have the respect of Sayyidina Ibrahim and his two footprints, they don't let you to do anything nice in Medina. The zamzam to drink from holy water, you could have water anywhere on earth, why is that one? special for you. Everything was tabarak, to kiss the holy stone because what did that, that stone represent of paradise realities? So with good character we were supposed to ask, Ya Rabbi I want to enter in. Then take away of spirituality, take away of tazkiyah and purification and this ulul am will teach you that way into that reality. InshaAllah from Surat al-Isra is the reality of Israhi wal Miraj. Tonight we talk about inshaAllah the Miraj for the believer means the teachings and the realities have to be applicable on how do you apply them today. We're not telling qissa and stories of the past. It's a curriculum in which if you're learning and listening and now you're extremely motivated to listen because your dunya is collapsing, everything falling apart, all you have is time now. Trying to figure out what you're going to do with your time. It's a good time to pick up a good haqqaiq book and access to a website and start, you know, reading, reading, Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi, I want to know about my reality and the way of your realities. InshaAllah from Surat al Isra, verse 79 and verse 80. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن الليل فتهجد به نافلة لك عسى أن يبعثك ربك مقاما محمودا وقل ربي ادخلني مدخل صدق 
وأخرجني مخرج صدق واجعل لي من لدنك سلطانا نصيرا صدق الله العظيم بلغت الرسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم that Allah Azzawajal giving the reality and the door for us to reach that which is attainable for creation. And Allah Azzawajal, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and pray in the small watches of the night, the Salatul Tahajjud. When the whole frequency has been running all day trying to get their rizq and their money, they're passed out and tired, Allah Azzawajal wake up, wake up and begin to pray. There's a gate open for you, there's a way open for you in the small watches of the night for Salatul Tahajjud, the additional prayers. It's not mandatory because the secret is always in the sunnah, it's not in the fard. The mandatory was mandatory by the nature of Allah mandating it, that's not where the secret. The nafil and the sunnah is something you do out of love because you feel an ishq and a love, I feel lonely, I feel scared, I feel I'm in need Ya Rabbi, I want to wash and get up and pray. And that's when Allah describing that there is a tremendous gift for you, there is a reality for you. Make the additional prayers for these soon will your Lord raise you to a praiseworthy station. I'm going to raise you to Maqam al-Mahmud and Maqam al-Mahmud is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Mahmud Means Allah is going to raise for us an entry into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad I'm going to make it easy and attainable for you to reach Maqam al-Mahmud into the presence of that reality, into the presence of, of that beatific dress. So it's not such an impossible reality to go for Israhul Miraj. But only Allah commented on, I said, no, no, Allah made it very easy. Pray your Salatul Fajr, pray your Salatul Tahajjud, wake a little bit earlier or stay the whole night or a portion of the night or whatever possible portion of that night you can. Allah is going, this is a maqam of Sayyidina Mahmud If you begin to pray that, Allah will raise you to reach towards because that station is very high. But the humility of Sayyidina Muhammad is to what? Bring his hand down for us to reach it. So what we can not achieve it, Allah is saying, I know I'm going to raise you. By virtue of you doing it, I'm going to raise you to the maqam of Sayyidina Mahmud And then Allah began to describe that, O oh my Lord, let my entry be by the gate of truth and honour, the Siddiqeen, Maqa' Siddiq. And likewise let my exit be from the gate of truth and honour, Maqa' Siddiq. And Ya Rabbi grant me from Thy presence an authority and a king to aid me, Ladunka Sultanan Nasira. That is the way of that reality. So, you see on the Kaaba the two doors, one Maqa'a Siddiq, the other Maqa'a Siddiq. And when you enter into this Maqa'a Siddiq, the gateway of the Siddiqs, the two gateways. Why? Because they're Ulul Bab, they're Ahbab, Ya Ulul Bab, Ya Ahbab, Ya Ulul Bab. And there's two hearts, see on the wall. The knockers are hearts. Allah saying, the signs are everywhere but do you have eyes to see them? You don't see that these two doorknobs are hearts? Big Ahbab and Nabi big Siddiqs, two gates into this reality that let me exit into this gate of truth and let me enter back into this, through this gate of truth to where Ya Rabbi? To Sultanul Nasira the authorized king. If you enter into the presence of the authorized king, then the authorized king begins to sign everything you do. When they ask them, who authorized you? 
You authorize yourself? No. If you're from that reality, Sultana Nasira authorized me. The one whom Allah gave the ability to authorize. Our life is to reach that reality, our mirage is to reach that reality. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and Imam Ali. So, when we took a life to learn their way, the house of Allah are the lataif of the qalb because Allah just saying, I'm not in heaven, not on earth, I'm on the heart of my believer. And the qalb of my mu'min is my home, is my presence on, on the heart. So this lataif of the qalb, the understanding of, of what Allah has given to our heart. That we went from the qalb, the sir we didn't talk about yet, sir as sir is the world of light and the khafa. These are two gates, the sir as sir with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, the world of light and the world of perfection. The khafa is the resurrection, right? There's two angels there too. So the sir as sir and entering into the world of light, who's the angel takes you from here into the world of light? Sayyidina Israel because you have to die in this dunya to enter into that world of light. Allah gave you a life and He's saying, surrender this life. You think you're really alive? You're walking dead flesh eater, going around talking and, and, and complaining and making all sorts of bad actions. You're not from hay, you're actually from might. You're walking dead on earth. Everyone's under the illusion they're alive. So then the great Siddiq, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq gave everything for the love of Prophet What did you leave for your family? La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah the perfection of iman, the perfection of faith. The representative Siddiq al-Mutlaq, the perfection and the representative of the world of light that approach your life with that reality and that love for Sayyidina Muhammad and Sayyidina Israel comes to teach you how to die and that's why Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and Prophet describe, you want to see somebody who has died before he died, look at my great Siddiq. Why? Because people worship dunya and they hold on to it like a monkey holding grapes. Now it's not even grapes, it's toilet paper. Dying is coming, death is coming and they're worried about toilet paper. And awliyaullah watching from up in the Truman Show. This life is a Truman Show, they're watching. You know they passed away, Allah gives them this, this dunya for them. Is you know the, 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 the ball that they sell in the, in the toy stores where you shake it and the snow is falling everywhere? This dunya is like that for them because the size of their souls are immense. They can hold all of dunya in their hand and when they look at it they can see it. You see the death, panic and death is coming and what are the people wanting? How are they influenced by what is being showed to them of what they should want and they ran to grab it. Means they're looking, so Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is essential in our love. That's why Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah carries these two gates. Brought by whom? Imam Jafar as Sadiq salam. he has the two nukhs of the qab. He brought the river of his, his grandparent Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and he brought the other river of his grandparent Imam Ali salam, and he brought the two rivers of the qaf and brought the secret of Holy Qur'an onto the tariqah. So the tariqah comes to teach, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq comes to perfect the character, that perfect your character, your love for Prophet Do all that you can for this love of Sayyidina Muhammad and you begin to lose the taste of this world. And then Sayyidina Israel begins to come into your life and you meditate. And you meditate with Sayyidina Israel that, I don't know if I'm ready to die right now but I'd like to connect my heart with you. Because many people are very scared, as soon as they meditate they feel heart is beating, they run to a doctor, I was having a heart attack Shaykh, I think I was having a heart attack. Eh, you weren't having a heart attack unless you really, you know, got something wrong with you. <laughs> But it's, these are young guys running and saying, my heart was beating, I felt like I was going to die, I ran to the doctor, I ran to the doctor. Why? What was wrong with death for you? What are you worried about? 
because there's a fear. So Sayyidina Israel comes and says, what are you fearing? Aren't you in love with Prophet Aren't you waiting to see Prophet What are you scared of? And make you to be more tranquil, more peaceful. Then they begin to inspire in your heart all that you're clinging on to is what making you to stay alive, enter into this state of death. Then they begin to test and insult and every type of difficulty comes and that's why they teach you, don't talk, don't defend yourself, don't say anything, who cares? If the whole world hates you but Allah loves you, that's all that's important. Take a way of humility, it actually helps you to die. It helps you to, I'm sick of it, I'm sick of everything. If you're not sick of it, you're loving it too much. If you're sick of it and all I'm making now, everybody's sick of it. This is crazy, this is, you know, what is this, what is this? People are wondering, what do they ran for? They ran for shares in a company, you'll never see. <laughs> a, a pension, they hope to kill all the old people, not to get their pensions. Yeah. That's why you say, oh, first treatment, you know, if you're like 70 or 65, uh, or is that like the pension years? Uh, we don't treat you first, we treat you last. You ran for this? You thought you were going to get what from these people? So Sayyidina Israel comes and teaches, no, it's, it's, it's going, it's of no value to you. It is what it is to the purpose of feeding your family, your love should be increased. Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq comes and teaches, then be truthful in your actions and in your words. You'll be tested in their watching, be truthful, be truthful. This is maqa' siddiq that, Ya Rabbi, when Allah grants you and you're truly listening to Sayyidina Abu Bakr siddiq and you're understanding the inspirations of Sayyidina Israel that don't fear it, then this gate begins to open. When it opens, He begins to pull your soul out. And that's why then your khashf and your hal become much more powerful. When people say, I'm not seeing, I'm not feeling, it's because you're not letting your soul to come out. How are you going to feel it? With your fingers? You have to be in a state of complete utter disgust for everything. You're like walking dead, whatever. So that your soul, these two maqams are open, these two lataifs are open. As soon as you enter into a zikr, your soul is, woo, I'm, I'm happy, I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm flying around because Sayyidina Israel taught you by permission of Atiullah, Ati Rasul, and Ulul Am, these are the Ulul Am. The angels are, for the ul, are from Ulul Am, they come with a permission, here's how you leave your body. Put a portion of it back into the body and it just holds it. Don't and He trains you, don't move. If you're moving your fingers, you have to become very much back into your body and all your motor functions. They teach you how to meditate as if someone look at you, you must be dead. Because you're not moving, you don't move a finger, you don't do nothing, you just train in breathing and let your spirit to be released. But it doesn't just happen because somebody wants it, that's how they have a system, you have to connect your heart. With the nazar of the shaykh, the muraqabah with the shaykhs, they begin to train you. Then introduce you that you should be connecting your heart with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Siddiq al Mutlaq. Ya Sayyidi, I'm in your presence for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad inspire me. You don't have to see his face. Just inspire me as a lover of Prophet You love and I love Sayyidina Muhammad inspire me to have the truthful character, kindness and softness with people. Inspire Sayyidina Israel to come and teach me to move from the body. Simultaneously then they begin to train you, you must have an immense love for Imam Ali And there are people in tariqat they don't even mention the name of Imam Ali How you then have a relationship with the other maqa'a siddiq? The other gate of the siddiq who's the one who what? Resurrects you. Say, my companion, he showed you how to die. Me, I show you how to be resurrected into their presence. Come on how to take your soul out and now move into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad with the angel Sayyidina Israel, Israfil. Sayyidina Israel and Sayyidina Israfil. 
Because the angel Sayyidina Israfil come and show you that with the trumpet I will raise the dead means that we're going to give you now the secret of sound into your soul. As soon as you hear these vibrations you go into a hall and your hall will bring you out of your body and into their presence. It was but one shout and we lifted him. You don't have to know, you don't have to know the coordinates, how do I find the heavens? Shay, where, where am I going to go, go to the left and right? It teaches you, no, no, we're going to give a secret of sound. As soon as you hear these nasheeds and salawats that, that are beautific, that's why when they recite it with a bad voice, the wrong trumpet, you know, it's like a bugle, <laughs> no, you don't do that, it has to be beautific. This is the secret we said of sound. The sound has an immense power. When it's beautific and melodious, it's unlocking codes, it's unlocking secrets. There's seven qirats, there's seven secrets on how to recite, there's seven notes, each one hitting a different reality. So it means we are an, an entire sound being. The sound we produce is the energy that is manifesting, that energy is the light that people are seeing. So it means they're going to come and teach. They say, Imam Ali said, going to teach, you want me, you love me, you think of me, I'm going to come and I'm going to come what from Nadi Ali, I'm going to lift you up out of the body and into their presence, it's not but a blink of an eye and every type of difficulty I have to defend you from. Because leaving the body you would be coming under attack, entering back into your body you would come under attack if they're not guarding and they're not showing. That's why then the tariqah comes with an ijazah, comes with an entire teaching that these angels have to teach, these sahabis have to teach, they have to guard the student that will show you how to come out of that reality, how to leave the body, how to plant your physicality and then breathe and let your energy to come out. And when it comes out it should be directed directly to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to the nazar of the shaykhs, all oh, that's holy. You don't take the body out and just go into the woods and into the bushes and into the buses and trains and malls. They say, should we do our zikrs like in the mall? No, if you're somebody who's opened up, you wouldn't open up your soul in a mall. You're asking for 10,000 creatures to be attacking you at that time because it's real. So then you choose a sanctified place, a beautific place, a protected place and you begin to make your tafakkur and contemplation. So much so that when they begin their zikrs and their salawat, their soul is out of the body. And the more powerful their soul is out, the more power that everybody will begin to feel. Because the majus is under the, uh, under the, the, uh, the authority of their soul, not their body. Their soul's energy and light is dressing everything and everyone within a blink of an eye. Anyone who logs on their soul has already reached to them, reached with all those whom are under their madad. Whatever madad and support they have is flowing through everything and everywhere that it sees and goes because the soul has an infinite power, it's not limited in its capacity. As much as Allah wants to give to it, Allah gives to that reality more and more of His izzat and might, izzatullah, izzat al rasul, izzat al mu'mineen, that is the mirage of the believer. They train, they train on how to open their lataifs, they read from the teachings, they read from all of these haqqaiqs and these realities so that they can reach. When they read and they understand, they did their practice, they did all of their meditations, then in every association their soul is leaving. When they say they're going to Medina to Munawar, the soul is right there in the presence of Medina to Munawar. To go there, to be dressed by it, to be blessed by it, to feel it, to be brought back into their physicality all of its realities. We pray that Allah open for us on these holy nights. Ya Rabbi, a, a way in which our heart to take from those realities, to be dressed from those realities, to Wound those realities, all these etikaf and khalwa that you're opening, uzla that you're opening, with al arba'een, with al etikaf, with khalwa, suluk, with siyam, and siyam too because I think food will be slowing down. The hadil majlis, Ya Rabbi, grant us to wound to reach to these realities and make these realities to be easy for us to achieve through our muhabbat and our love. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon. Wassalamun al-Mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.
Ve hürmeti Muhammedin Mustafa ve vesile suretel Fatiha. Anybody online have any, any, any questions? Not that I'm going to answer questions but any, any du'as they want to convey? We're, we're reading the du'as, we read everybody's comments, the good ones inshaAllah, the bad ones we just overlook them but thank you very much. <laughs> and inshaAllah dress all our families, bless all our families and our communities with the safety. It may become a little bit more difficult to, to broadcast but we'll try our best to, to continue to broadcast and then to get together to do the broadcast inshaAllah. And any particular urgent prayer? Oh thank you very much, happy birthday to me. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Forgive me. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, Allah bless you all and thank you with the long life, good health and, and uh, blessed families and blessed life and give us a life in which to see Sayyidina Mahdi salam. Live a life of preparedness that have food, have supplies, have batteries, understand the medicines that are needed for disinfecting, hydrogen peroxide, detrol, all of these uh, things that disinfect an area they're very important. If you need more information then you can contact us online through the center, through the messenger. And then live a life of preparedness. If you find yourself that you're completely been taken by surprise then unfortunate we should have lived a life of preparedness and uh, continuously lived a life in which difficulty would come. Run your cars on full, don't run empty and all of a sudden one day find there's no gas station and everything's closed. We pray that Allah make it easy for everyone and, and to, to live a life of always preparedness and self sufficient to the ability that we can. We do it and Allah bless it to last. Nobody can do everything for everyone but whatever we can do for ourselves, Allah make it to be good and blessed. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel. Your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.